We're gonna start things off by saying I don't have high hopes for this game. <laughs> like, I don't. In case you don't know what the hell I'm talking about right now, Mr. Danganronpa has decided to create a new video game, and um, it's, it's Danganronpa. Making Danganronpa 4. Now, now I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the Danganronpa series. Let me, let me, let me dig here. Actually, I don't, I don't think I have the game anymore. I used to be a fan of the Rampa series. I really like Rampa 2, okay? Like, I really fuck, I really fuck with that game. This game does not look like it's gonna be a Rampa 2. I mean, let me show you some shit real quick. Click. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you right now. Look at this guy. <laughs> you, you can't tell me that's not a Danganronpa protagonist. That's definitely a Danganronpa girl protagonist right there, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, I like Danganronpa. Fucking love Danganronpa. The world's ending. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy along with 15 other students. Sound familiar? Does that sound familiar to you? Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. Now, when you're watching this, right, this is like tactical RPG style, like, gameplay. This is like Fire Emblem, XCOM, you know, shit like that. I'm actually a huge fan of those types of games. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna buy this fucking game. But you can't tell me this isn't a Rampa game. An academy shrouded in secrecy. <laughs> and the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? Despair. The creators of Danganronpa present the 100 Line Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. So here we go. We have a tweet from him from 2023. Now, granted, this is 2023, all right? This is about six months ago, all right? Because I only make games that I like, so I don't care if they sell well or not. Because it is more distinctive than perfection, and it is not a game that will be liked by everyone. I want as many people with similar sensibilities to me to buy my games as possible. I just realized my fucking, my fucking pop filter is on my fucking microphone. That was definitely in the screen on display the entire time. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> My pop filter is a fucking sock. It's a, it's a sock, guys. I use a sock for a pop filter. <laughs> See, you don't hear that. I use a fucking sock. Anyway. I think it's weird that he doesn't want to make another Rampa game, but the dude is making a game so clearly set inside of the Danganronpa-esque universe. I actually didn't see how his last game performed. Let's go look up how his last game performed real quick. This game has a 7 out of 10 on GameSpot, 8 out of 10 on ZTGD. I've never heard of ZTGD, but you know what? We're not gonna find out what that is today. 77% uh, on a Metacritic. So really, who knows? This could end up being a banger. This could end up being better than the actual Danganronpa series for all we know. I was like 16, 15 when I played those fucking games. It was it was a minute ago. I'm 23 now. Fucking so I'm trying not to have a pessimistic outlook on the entire, you know, new game coming out. But it's just very funny to me that this is clearly a Danganronpa game. For me, the deciding factors of this game are really going to end up depending on the music and the characters. Uh, one of which I can definitely go on YouTube.com and find the entire soundtrack for it, that's gonna be easy. But the characters I'm going to have to drop the 60 bomb on and pray that I don't waste my goddamn money. A big carrying point for Danganronpa in general for me was always the characters. The story was there, you know. I do like the twist ends out of Danganronpa 2, and despite what most people feel, I actually like the ending of Danganronpa 3. I feel like the ending was a pretty good way to wrap up the series. But the character is more than anything. The main character of Danganronpa 2 and V3 I've, I've really fucking enjoyed. Um, and a lot of supporting cast inside the game is what kept me going, you know? I, I had like a connection to these characters. I didn't want them to die. I wanted... I knew they were going to die. Of course they're gonna fucking die, right? But I wanted to... to see them through to the end and like, you know, see who lives and... I wanted my boys to survive, okay? I wanted my boys to live! 
Gundam. Fuck. Gundam. But, yeah. Um, it's really gonna come down to the characters and the music. I don't think the gameplay is gonna be that good, but I play Final Fantasy 13. I don't really like good gameplay, you know? I like bad games. Endless tower climbing, I've been working on a better me. Burning up the trend that weighs me down with bursts of apathy. Determination changes in an alleyway, an enemy. Switching to another mask, and I select Persona 3. Gun against my head, I pull the trigger, now they're dropping dead. Path and turn the Igus, now my shorty filled them up with lead. One more deadly chance, the Emperor has waited long for this. Gang up on a nigga, slice him up, and don't you dare relax.